filthy, neglected and unsafe. Those are the words used to describe the Rahima Musa Mother and Child Hospital. The health ombudsman released shocking findings following an investigation into the hospital. The hospital was under scrutiny after Dr. Tim DeMaia penned an open letter decrying its conditions. Senior reporter Lindelo Masikana has more. Various allegations ranging from poor treatment of patients, staff and bed shortages have been levelled against the Rahima Musa Mother and Child Hospital. In 2022, a video of pregnant women sleeping on the floor went viral. A year-long investigation by the health ombudsman has found that all these allegations are true. Almost all the, the people that we interviewed confirmed that that was the case. So we couldn't, we couldn't obviously ignore that. Then there was the confirmation that obviously the CEO did not spend as much time as he was supposed to. Now that we know what the problems are, is there a plan to address them? We're going to be tighter on in interviews who is fit to be the CEO. Even the, the interviews that are going to be done, I'm going to manage that because I'm the last one to sign there. It must be the people that we know that they are capable. They qualify, they are going to do what is expected. We've tightened some controls in all the hospitals. Healthcare professionals say the Gauteng Health Department needs to take accountability. This is just a, 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 a tip of the iceberg. You know, there's a lot that is happening in the hospitals, not only Rahima Musa, just that Tim DeMaio was strong enough to just come out and write an open letter. There's a tendency to recycle CEOs. You take a CEO from Rahima Musa, you take him or her, to Helen Joseph, or you move them to uh, Sterkford Dane Hospital. So that has been the trend, uh, the, the trend that the department has been doing for the past years. There are calls for the hospital's CEO to be axed. I, I think uh, she should be fired, and there is a recommendation that she goes through a, a disciplinary process. So yes, the primary responsibility is the heart and health department. It's not just this hospital. Some of the recommendations also include upgrades to the security system and strengthening oversight at all Gauteng hospitals. Slinda Lomasigan, Pretoria.